We've come a long way. We're close to our final destination. So I just want to, we're going to have a short speaking program today. And I just want to make sure that everybody knows that we've had a long journey and we thank, thank everyone who's helped us along the way. awareness about the, how Shaw is just training its warehouse workers. The workers were forced out on strike on March 7th. And they were forced on strike by a company that wanted to raise their health care premium so much that these folks would have lost on average $27 a week. And these aren't people who are making big bank. These are people on average who are making about 15, 16 Let's see, I have no health care. My pregnant wife has no health care. And up until we started getting unemployment a couple weeks ago, we had, I had no income for two months. And did, were you given an advance notice, or like how did how did all that happen? What happened was they, they gave us, our contract was up March 6th. They gave us an offer that would have been okay if they were going bankrupt, and they were going under, and they were losing money, and, and everybody needs to take a hit. Okay, fine. Super Value, the company that owns Shaw's, their profits for the quarter leading up to that contract was $110 million in profits. And then the last, this past quarter has been $99 million in profits. So they're not losing money, they're not dying, they're not bleeding money, but they still wanted to squeeze us for as much as they could possibly get.